Okay, we're gonna make a delicious, cheap, and easy meal. Uh, we're gonna use this spaghetti squash. I'm just gonna cut it uh, right down the center. It's a little difficult to cut. And uh, so. Not the easiest thing to cut, that's for sure. So you gotta be really careful. Basically try to cut it in half. This is not quite half, but pretty close. And then you just take the seeds and bits out. Use a spoon or something to do that, makes it pretty easy. Then you just uh, take some cloves and garlic, however many you like. There's no recipe for this. This is just however you like to do it. Cut the ends off. Put one or put 20 in. I like lots of garlic. Just using up the end of the garlic that I had. Crush them a little bit to make the peelings come off. And put them in where the seeds came out. Don't need to chop them up or anything else. And then you just take some olive oil. And you just drizzle it over the whole thing. Not a lot, but not just in the center. And we're gonna put this on the barbecue at about 350 degrees for 40 minutes. And then we'll be back to uh, see what happens. So just put them in there. My barbecue is a little smoky because I was cooking on it. And get it around 350. I think that's going to come up a bit. 40 minutes. And then we'll take it out. Now we're going to make the sauce to go with the spaghetti squash. So you just, uh, you need about a large portobello mushroom per half. So I've got two portobello mushrooms here. I can chop close them up. I like to chop them up fairly fine because then they uh, reduce down better and make a nicer sauce. Like I said, fairly fine.
then uh, put your heat on, some olive oil in the pan, probably uh, two or three tablespoons of olive oil, the pan nice and hot, and then put your mushrooms in. So now the pan's hot, put the mushrooms in. At this point, that's all, all it is is mushrooms. Looks like a lot of mushrooms, but really that's just two portobello mushrooms. And we're, uh, they, they all shrink down to, I don't know, about, about a fifth or less of that. So we're going to reduce these down quite a bit. So I've been cooking this on high the whole time, and as you can see, there's a ton of steam water comes off mushrooms, so you've really got to cook them down. Now that they got them reduced like this, we're going to throw some salt on, and some pepper, again, all depending on your, how much you like salt and pepper. That in. Pan is still on high. We're going to use Marcella wine to make our sauce. And you can use either the creme, creme and roll, which is the sweeter version, or the dry Marcella. Um, I like both. I, I don't want it too sweet, but I don't like it too dry. So I'm going to put a quarter cup of each. So now we're going to reduce this down. That's pretty good. And that will reduce down as well. So once that's reduced down, we'll come back and we'll add a couple more ingredients. So that's reduced down almost to nothing, as you can see. At this point, your neighbors should probably come over and see what delicious thing you're cooking because that Marcella wine just, it smells so good. Uh, right now, we're just going to, I'm going to add a little bit of spice. Now, this happens to be harissa, harissa, um, and any spice that you like, just, there's a little bit of heat to this, not a lot, but we're not going to put a lot in. Stir that around a little bit. I can tell by the smell of it that it's got, you know, some hot pepper in it, but it also has some cumin in it. But again, whatever spice you like or no spice at all. And we're going to put some chicken broth in. As, and we are going to reduce this down, but we do want to have a sauce, so we got to have some liquid. So now we'll let that reduce down, and uh, we'll finish our sauce in a minute. Okay, now I'm just, uh, we got the uh, squash in, it's cooked. Uh, it's been in there for, uh, as I said, about 40 minutes. We're just gonna take the garlic that was in it, throw it in the mushroom sauce. Stir that around a bit, probably even can well, they're not quite done enough to mush in, but we'll stir them in there. I'm going to put some cream in. So I put about half a cup of uh, um, chicken broth in. And now I'm going to put about a little more than a quarter of a cup of cream. Eh, probably, probably a half a cup of cream or close to it. That's empty, so I might as well finish it. And uh, make sure that it's whipping cream, because if you try to boil, uh, blend, or some of the lesser creams, you'll get separation, whereas whipping cream holds up good to both the boiling and the wine, while other things will curdle in wine. So, so just basically bring that to a boil and let it reduce just a little bit. And while that's happening, We 
give Bobo past the ball. I think this will work good, but I'll also need to work. And while this does not taste like spaghetti, uh, this is why it is called spaghetti. Squash. You can see it's a little bit warm to the fingers, but see how it shreds like spaghetti? And it's very delicious. So we'll get a scoop of that. Except for the cream, this is basically a um, vegetarian meal. Better turn that down now. Sauce looks pretty good. So it'll thicken up a little bit yet. Serve another one. Now, a half a squash, believe it or not, is a pretty good meal for two people. Amazing stuff, really. sauce that we made. Scoop. And we're just going to scoop some of that beautiful mushroom sauce. Make sure you get some juice on top of that. And I made lots of sauce. I made enough for four people. Being a little generous probably with that one. Make sure you get some garlic in there for those that like the garlic. And a little bit of Parmesan cheese on each one. And you have a pretty delicious meal. And that's it. Bon appetit.